you're watching me on sponge and entrepreneur channel and today i'm going to show you a quick tutorial on how to create instagram carousel images uh, which can fit for your uh, instagram post all right so before getting more information about it you can subscribe to my channel to get more tips tricks on how to start your online business from home all right so coming back to the tutorial we basically do this carousel okay with the two different strategies so i'm going to show you both the strategies which you can incorporate into your uh, business in order to create your instagram carousel all right so for that what we do is we just go to create a design okay and definitely we go and uh, type in instagram okay so when we are typing instagram post you can see here this is the pixel 1080 by 1080 it's a square one okay so this is one which we are going to create one all right so over here if you can see here i have already created one where i will be showing you guys by presenting it so that you will be having more information on how exactly it's gonna look like okay so uh, watch this video so you will uh, able to understand it how it will look interesting guys right so now i will uh, show you how to do it okay so for that what you need to do is basically you need to have some sort of colors at the background okay i you can see here i do have my palettes okay and if you're using your uh, uh, free account then definitely you will be having one of your palette which you can use it okay so i usually go with my brand colors uh, so you can see here i do have uh, so many brand colors of mine which i would be uh, sharing okay so for this example i'm taking this as an example of mine which is one of my brand color okay and then if i have to um, be ready with my carousel i need to also keep in mind that i need to have all my content ready okay so for that what i need to do is i just need to copy it go to the text okay you can select any font of yours okay guys we will be doing a lot of editing okay so i have actually used the other fonts okay so let us go you can see here you get this particular grid right which is in a pink in color it shows you that whether you are either at the center and things so it, it makes it more easier okay so i'm just keeping everything inside the space and going back and checking this and you can see here i've used uh, baba's new uh, as my thing so what i do is i just go here and make it changes okay and after that Okay, guys and what I need to do is I need to keep dragging it okay and okay so you just need to be sure how cool it has to look for you okay and after that you can see here I am decreasing the heights okay so you can do all this adjustment right and if you want you can change the font okay what i will be doing is i would for this example i will also change the font to anton okay so let's see how it's gonna look i think this is looking really crazy right and this is a little bold anton and we can also go to antonian light okay you can see here right so what i'll do is okay I'll just go for Antonian light and make a space. Okay. So what will happen is I can increase the size of whatever I've written it. Right. And after that, what I do is I just take this and change the font over here. 
okay now i think it's lo looking a little more interesting you can do a lot of things which is interesting and if you wanted you can change the color okay and uh, definitely if i'm taking the base as a light then i would definitely go with a little darker color okay you can uh, have with your own variation so this is one way of doing it okay guys and after that we need to select an images so there were people who were asking me how i have selected how i have removed the background and stuff okay so there's little hacks okay when i'm searching my images you can see here i've used all this recently so i'll show you how to do it okay so <clears throat> you can see here when i'm typing it okay when i'm typing it you can see here i'm using the cutouts so it means that whatever images which i'm getting with the cutouts right i can use it okay so you can see here guys this is one of the hack which you need to use it to find your images okay so i don't want to waste my time <coughs> sorry <coughs> you can see here all these images which i've used even i have used these images okay i have used these images i have went to effects and i have used the background remover so if you have a free uh, canva users you can go to remove background remover and remove it as well okay uh, you can do even that that is one sort of things you need to do so for this example i'm just taking this as an image okay after that what i do is okay Are you able to see it, guys? Awesome. So what I'm going to do is, if I have to, okay. So I will be just playing with it, okay. And I make sure. So once you do it, you can even want it. You can add your uh, logo, okay. I already have my logo over here. I'm just going to my folder. I already have a logo for my Instagram. And if you guys wanted to follow me on Instagram, you can definitely follow me on um, Business 365 Days. Okay. So what I'll do is I just wanted to decrease the size. That's what I want to do it. Okay. So once you have it, what you can do is you can position it forward, backward, whatever you wanted to do it okay so once i have it okay what i do is i go for duplicating copying it okay now are you able to see this guys okay so now what are we going to do is i'm just going to take this content okay i'm just gonna change it and you can see here Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to increase it and we will be playing over here. Okay, so what I'm going to do is, can you see this guys? I am just cropping it. Okay, and after that, what I'm going to do is I'm just placing this over here. Are you getting and after that i'm bringing over here you can see here i'm just making little adjustment playing with it okay and if i have wanted to tweak it i would definitely do it after that i am just making sure everything is on to the left okay That's what I wanna do it over here. And after that, if I have to do a little changes, I can do it, okay? So this is the way you actually do your carousel ad, okay? So you can do up to 10 images, okay? So this is one way of doing it. And along with it, what you can do it, you can even use uh, swipe, 
images or even if you want it you can use here basically you usually use it over here so you can definitely go to the elements okay and type in swipe swipe up or swipe i would just go and type swipe okay and after that what i would go and check is i would definitely go and check one of the option which is this okay so what i do is i will be using this so that this makes very easy for someone to check it whether they have to swipe it or whatsoever so they will be doing it okay so we usually place the swipe at the first one so that they understand that this particular images is this right this is a continuity of this particular images right so this is one way of doing it the other way which you are going to do is what you need to do is you just need to click click on um sorry you need to click on create a design go to custom and uh you need to double your width with 1080 multiplied by 2 okay so i think it is 60 okay and this we keep it the same the height is the same width we are doubling it off okay so when we are doing it okay this is the other way of doing it okay you can also use this strategy and i'm just going to the elements okay i'm just going to the elements and i'm using this okay so you can see here i just wanted this to use it so that i can place my image over here okay so now we are again going back to the photos and i use these images right so what i'm going to do is right now can you see it guys i'm placing it really you can place anywhere you want it either if you want it you can place it center if you want it you can place it three fourth this side and uh, one fourth of this side right so this is where you basically do it over here okay and after that what you need to do is sorry we created this right so i'm just copying and pasting it but yes you can also create a uh, be more creative okay uh, i don't want to waste my time over here so i'm just going and putting the background color you guys can see it i'm just coming here okay and i'm just going back and taking this right and i'm just increasing it as whatever we have done it right we have to do a little tweaking uh to look at more interesting it so you just need to work on how you want to do it okay so this gives me an idea how my images should look and as i shared i'm just doing it a little tweaking guys you can be more creative believe me you can be more creative right so basically this is how you you do it and once you have done this right over here and even over here let me copy paste it for you guys so that you get a more example okay so now can you see this guys this we wanted we can send it back so can you see this right so if you wanted if you wanted i think i would like to keep it in this format so it looks more nicer right and once i come to know complete of this option i just remove it okay so in this way you can basically create it and go to point flip tool okay and uh, cut it in two and you would get this particular image and you know like this is how we usually do it i basically use this particular format because it becomes very easier and the only thing which you need to do is you just need to download it 
okay and uh, you need to download everything and then use it one by one onto your post so guys if you like this video just hit on the like button and subscribe to my channel so that you get more uh, such kind of tutorial uh, in order to make such kind of uh, videos um, i'm sorry such kind of post all right take care bye bye